It was a real honour to be appointed as Deputy Chair of the IFAC PIB Advisory Group, which also reflects the high regard IFAC has for the MIA. Membership of the Advisory Group is made up of PAIBs from all over the world. The issues facing accountants are very similar, regardless of the country they come from. I am delighted that MIA has not only given due recognition to PAIBs, but through our PAIB committee, has done a lot of good work relevant to the issues focused upon by IFAC. For example, the role of accountants in value creation, integrated thinking and reporting, and ESG. The PIB Advisory Group also benefited from the good lineup of speakers invited by IFAC to share with us their experiences and how they tackled their challenges. This was certainly a professionally enriching experience for me. Accountants are moving out of the traditional role of financial reporting to a much more active role in value creation for the organisation. We not only have to create value but also preserve value which at the end of the day is about building sustainable businesses. And we have to do it responsibly from the ESG perspective. This is what investors are looking for and I'm sure PIBs in Malaysia are already aware and would not want to be left behind. Audit committee and board members have a fiduciary responsibility and will be held accountable and subjected to heavy penalties for financial misdemeanors committed by companies. It is therefore in your interest that you must insist on the company having a competent finance function starting from the CFO and throughout the finance value chain. The MIA competency frameworks for CFOs and finance function are some of the best independent tools available for you to benchmark the competency of your CFO and the finance function. They are comprehensive and have the input of experienced practitioners. The competency frameworks are very clear on the knowledge and skill requirements for the CFO and the finance function. You need to identify the gaps and invest in training and continuing professional development of your people in order to close those gaps. One of the positive outcomes of the COVID-19 pandemic is the proliferation of online courses and webinars and some are even available for free. With this convenience, there is little excuse for us not to upskill ourselves and our people in order to remain relevant. Whenever I speak on this subject, I always start by saying that integrated reporting is not about producing a report. The foundation of integrated reporting is integrated thinking, which brings the whole organisation together in mapping out and executing the strategic plan. This is a critical requirement if you are serious about value creation and building a sustainable business. My advice to organisations who are embarking on this journey would be it is okay to start with something basic. The most important thing is to ensure that you do it with integrity. Whatever you disclose in the integrated report must be the actual things you are doing, not a made-up story just to look good. In one of the sessions at the IFAC PIB Advisory Group meetings, we heard from human resource experts that one of the most important qualities they look for in CFOs today is their ability to collaborate. Given the inherent nature of the CFO's role, he or she is in an ideal position to facilitate integrated thinking within the organisation and that applies equally to both the private and public sectors.